We will now begin the mock battle to rehabilitate your insubordinate troops. Concludes the briefing. Now it's time for rehab. Yippee Kaye! Time to spray and pray! Speak for yourself. I'm not gonna pick up your slack. Whatever. As long as it helps us win, you do you. running around with a hand axe uh, until I tried robbing a Federation truck and got arrested at gunpoint. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's how I joined the army. For the guns. Oh, look! More meat sacks! Bite my bullets! There you are. Find me. Watch out! They're on to you! Surprise, surprise, dipshits! I am not 
getting paid enough for this. I'm not getting paid at all. Emmy, get down now! That was friggin' close! Pay attention, you dipshit! <clears throat> I, I mean, uh, perhaps it would be wise to exercise caution, the lady. What are you doing? I didn't ask for your help. You let your guard down. I knew you were weak. Why, I oughta... Viola, behind you! What? Well, well, well. Who's the weakling now? No, that was just a fluke. A freak accident. We made it through the first wave, but barely. If this keeps up, we're SOL. Come on, you sons of bitches! I, I mean, um, if you ladies don't mind, could we please cooperate with one another? Come on, give me a freaking hand here! I'd say no, but I really hate being in debt, so... All right, you save me, I'll save you. But after this, we're even. <sighs> All right, you win. Let's team up for now. Weakling! Time to make some money. No wonder you.
time for this. Watch out! They're on to you! Fire away! Good. That should make things a little easier. this over with. this over with let's earn that paycheck there you are no you. Incoming! Loser! money. longer is this mock battle gonna go on cool your heels we just turn the tables on them only chumps work for nothing it's all about that dough is cold hard cash the only thing that matters to you god that's pathetic <laughs> i take it you've never been poor money makes the world go round if my mom's ever gonna get better she'll need it your mother's sick? Wait, so that means all this time you've been fighting to support your family? Oh, Emmy. Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> family, huh? Incoming! Son of a... On your life. I 
should have expected as much from... Time to make some money. Show. There! Keep it together, you two. We're not out of rehab yet. You're still going? God, were you like this as a kid? I can't even imagine what your parents are like. My parents are dead. Oh. My mother was killed by Imperials. My father lived only to avenge her. In the end, he got his revenge. But he died getting it, leaving me an orphan. All they left me with was a gun, and the training to use it. So I'm sorry for what I said back there. If your parents are still alive, I better take good care of them. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I had no idea you ladies would come through such hardships. <laughs> And I had no idea you were such a crybaby. Hey, I've had my own share of troubles. Like, um, you know. Oh, I may be an axe-crazy gun nut, but I've never laid a finger on a girl. Isn't that because you're scared of them? Maybe. <laughs> it's funny. Talking to you losers makes all my problems seem so small. Found him. I'll move to flank them. Rear guard, follow Not me. Not on your life. Well done! This should be fun. Calm down! We need some pressing fire now! Not on your life. Here I come! Advance carefully. Time for this. Don't stop now! Break through! Enemies up ahead! Incoming! Leave them to me. Here 
this over with. this over with. All right, that should be the last of them. This mock battle is as good as one. You two aren't half bad in a pinch. Ever consider bounty hunting? Hot damn, that was fun! We're the best! done with the rehabilitation program. So, how'd it go? Did you learn to work together as a team? I learned my lesson. Three gunners are better than one! Yeah, it actually wasn't all that bad. Aside from you two stealing my kills, I agree. Good. I'm glad we could work this out. By the way, Claude, you really earned my respect out there. That was you commanding the other fire team, wasn't it? Even I couldn't break through your defenses, and that's saying something. Sorry I didn't respect your authority before. From now on, when you tell me to jump, I'll ask how high. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. You all seem to have learned your lessons, so I don't want to beat a dead horse. But hear me out. In real combat, your squad mates are... Yeah, yeah! Power of teamwork! We get it already! When it comes to going buck wild on the battlefield, the more the merrier! Yahoo! What? I'll start working with my squad mates, not against them. Especially if they make as good a meat shield as Simon. Did I say that out loud? Thank you for giving us a second chance, sir. As long as I agree with your orders, I'll follow them. <laughs> We've got company, Claude! An Imperial ambush! Yippee-ki-yay! Time to spray and pray! Yaha! Hey! No stealing my glory. I'll take point, got it? Take point? But we haven't even been deployed. You can wait around for orders all you want. I'll finish the fight before you can say yes, sir! Wait, Viola, you can't just run off! Now that I think about it, the Empire's got a way bigger war budget than the Federation. 
I wonder how much they'd pay me to defect. Hemi, how can you even say that? <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. Um, Vlad? You put them through rehab, didn't you? Is that what you call rehabilitated? Yeah, they'll be fine. Probably. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Hello, I'm Mabel Drake. I don't like wasting time, so can we wrap this up? Okay. The fresh recruits could give our school. Unfortunate. Moving out. There. All We already caught up to the others? We haven't even been going that fast. We have a lot of wounded, and the cold doesn't help. It's no wonder they're moving slowly. Claude! We just received a transmission! All units that fought in the Battle of Zeekfall were counterattacked by the Empire. It sounds like everyone except us was completely routed. Our entire battalion? Routed? Is it safe to take this path? Aren't the Imperials just going to chase us down? I don't know. All I can say for sure is that we've been put on the defensive. You can't be serious. One loss was enough for them to take it all back. October 1935 EC, the insidious chill of winter arrived far earlier than usual in the north. Caught between the cold and a vicious counterattack from the Empire, Operation Northern Cross fell apart. The Edinburgh Army was routed. The soldiers who survived were forced to scatter as they fled, freezing, hungry, and bitter. And the once hopeful Federation had been driven into a cold, dark corner. How far are we walking anyway? We haven't had a break since morning. I don't know how much more I can take. Hmm. This is strange. Aren't they going the wrong way? I thought we were heading back to Einhemt. That's south, right? But the troops are heading west. Here on.
Squad will avoid all cities, towns, and villages. We're also bypassing all major roads. Einhept has already been reclaimed by the Empire. Our goal is 150 kilometers west of here. 150 kilometers west? But that's on the Empire's coast, isn't it? This is a direct order from General Edmonds at HQ. Once there, we'll be given new orders. That's all we can tell you. All radio communication is now prohibited, with HQ or even other squads. If we're heading west, that means going over the mountains. The snow has to be piling up. I don't know if we can make it with our current equipment. They tell me this operation is critical if we want to regain our footing in the war. With the rest of the army routed, they're the only ones left who can still mobilize. Command knows these conditions aren't ideal, but they're counting on you. Commander. <sighs> Understood. Godspeed. Hey, look. Einhem's clock tower is getting farther away. Man, wish I'd save some of that jerky. Wait. What's that over there? Oh. Just a scarecrow, huh? No. That's... Riley, don't look! Uh, uh, that's... That's the old man from the parts shop. I made an example out of him. Nobody's going to risk supplying the Federation now. They'll kill whoever they want just to make a point. Same shit they've always pulled. They want to make examples out of people? Fine. I'm gonna do the same damn thing to them. Raz! War makes you forget the value of life. That's true for us and them. Don't give in to hate, but don't turn your eyes away from this either. This is why we're fighting the Empire. We're gonna make sure tragedies like this can't happen again. I won't. I'll never forget this. Chapter 7. A March in the Snow. Colonel Vault, sir. Reporting in. Hmm. The scouts just got back from Einhem. There's no sign of any Federation soldier stopping by since the Battle of Zeefall. Really? I figured they'd be aching for some new supplies by now. Well, we have been pursuing them. Maybe they went straight past the city. To keep their momentum, sir. Or maybe they cross the mountains to the west. In their tanks, sir? That would just slow them down, wouldn't it? They could always abandon them if they're in a hurry. If their drivers are good, it's not impossible. Then should we head to the mountains? But HQ's orders are to march south. We're still listening to them. We're Ausbruch, my friend. They know they can't take us. But we can't keep disobeying all our orders. They'll look the other way. They need me too much. <laughs> Besides, a man's no good if he lets a lover give him the slip. So, let's pick up the chase. We're moving out. 
Yes, sir. It won't be long now, so. The Battle of Ziegfall wasn't that long ago, but our victory feels so distant now. We've been marching along this mountain road without any semblance of cold weather equipment. It's cold, treacherous, and exhausting. Our formation's been broken for a while. We had a couple soldiers collapse. We're only walking now with support from their friends. Everyone can feel it in the air. Sooner or later, we're gonna start losing people. All we can do is keep moving forward. Anything to fend off frostbite. To stay alive. No one speaks. The silence is deafening. Riley, are you okay? Sorry, guess I tripped on the snow. Riley, she's exhausted. It's starting to get to her. I've got to take her mind off it somehow. Oh yeah, Miles, isn't your hometown in the mountains? Yeah, we only got snow every now and then, but I'm used to mountain roads like this. Hometown, huh? I've never been to your region myself, so I don't know much about Hoffen. But we rely on the Hoffen as a tank, right? So, the name Hoffen kind of feels like home to me too at this point. <laughs> Say that again after you've been there. It's a boring, cramped armpit in the middle of nowhere. Everything closes at 10 goddamn PM. And the women, oh man, they go right for the throat. Funny. I remember people singing songs about how beautiful and gentle Hoffen women are. <laughs> I tell ya. Uh, yeah. Hoffen women. Got it. You know, I've been thinking I want to rebuild the Miller Company in Hoffen someday. The factory up and running with a mansion next door. That was the dream for a blue-collar family like us. All right, and you can be factory manager, Claude. Huh? Hey, hold on. What? Too good to work in my factory? Is that it? No, that, that's not what I meant. I, I'm, I'm just not very good with machines. Don't worry. You can leave the mechanical side to me. I'll be the badass foreman, obviously. And if any jokers get out of line, I'll whip them back into shape. I'll bake. There's an oven there for the rat night, after all. <laughs> Sounds good. I'd be glad to have you all. All right. Now I got a job lined up after I leave the army. No one goes hungry at the Miller Company. <sighs> I hope I get to visit Hoffman soon. It won't be too much longer. Once the war's over and things are back to normal. <laughs> We're under attack! Damn it! They're still following us? Can't get in touch with any squads ahead or behind us. Everyone's engaged with the enemy. We're cut off! Everyone, just calm down. They want us to panic. Squad E, prepare to intercept. We'll find a way through. 